Hi guys, it's Rach. Today I have something quite exciting to share with you guys, or at least it's exciting for me. I have a little haul from Bath and Body Works, and I'm really excited because it's from Bath and Body Works in Australia. The first Bath and Body Works store opened up mid-October in the domestic airport here in Sydney. It makes me very, very excited. It's not 100% perfect. They don't have everything. There's a little bit of markup on prices, but I see it as a first step to getting Bath & Body Works here in Australia and, and getting um, the proper store here and being able to shop and buy the candles that I love without having to purchase them online. So today I'll be showing you some of the products that I picked up. I have some prices to share with you guys, let you know what is there and how you can purchase them. And let's just jump into it. So first things first, it is at the domestic airport in Sydney and I wanted to clarify because I wasn't 100% sure myself whether you could, but you can shop at the domestic airport at Sydney even if you're not traveling. Now, the way that you do this is I just caught the train. It's about um, 15 to 20 minutes from the city and you get off at the domestic airport, stop, go in. You do have to go through security. So my bag had to be, like my handbag had to be checked. I walked through the scanner. I ended up getting bomb tested because I was just unlucky. It's just the way it is. Maybe I looked suspicious. I don't know. But it takes two seconds. They go through, just don't take anything with you in your handbag that you can't take on a plane. And then you walk through and you're in the shopping area. And then once you have done your shopping, you can just walk out the doors, go back down into the train station or the car park if you drove and leave. So it is possible to enter the domestic airport even if you're not traveling. What you can't do is go into the international airport because that has duty free um, and you have to go through customs and things like that. But domestic airport, you can do it. Like I said, you just have to go through security. So if you're willing to do that, then you can shop at Bath and Body Works. Now, it is a condensed store. It doesn't have everything. It did have a lot of the body products, so the shower gels, um, moisturizers, shower creams, things like that, the sprays and the perfumes. It also had some candles. It had very limited range of three-week candles. It also had the one week like little four ounce candles. It had the sort of little scent portables and the little refills for those. It didn't seem to have any wallflowers or anything like that. So I didn't see the, like the plug-in scents um, or any kind of candle holders or anything like that. It was mainly the body products that was the key focus. It did have the hand sanitizers and it also um, had the travel size body products as well. So I will actually list all the prices of things that I managed to get like photos of the price tags and things in the description box below so you, you have it there and I'll talk about them as I go. But I want to show you guys what I did pick up. I purchased uh, some of the Endless Weekend, this is part of, this is like a signature scent, some of the body products. They had a special going on at the moment where you buy two, get the third full size free, and then for the travel size versions, you can get three for $24. So I think the travel sizes are around $10 each. I'll put the exact price in the description box below, but that's a decent discount. And then these products were both $24 each and the mist was $27. So buy two, get one free was a pretty decent uh, special offer. This scent particularly smells like sun-kissed magnolia, summer mandarin and vanilla sandalwood. It's just a really nice, fresh, um, summery scent. I thought it would be perfect sitting, considering we're going into the warmer weather here in Australia and I hadn't hadn't tried it before. They did have a really good range of like the signature collection um, scents. They had warm scents, they had more sweet scents. They also had some of the like um, manly scents or manly fragrances there as well. So um, a nice variety there if you do like these products. I really love the shower gels with the Shea and Vitamin E. I find them to be very hydrating and this is just a nice light moisturizer, great for every day. So really looking forward to being able to access those. I also picked up some of the hand soaps. So they had the three, three different types of hand soaps or was it two and a hand cream? I'm not 100% sure, but they had a couple of different versions there and a lot of different um, scents. I picked up Pink Chiffon and Peach Bellini. These, I believe, are $13 each, but they're also going to have a special where it's either two hand creams or two of the hand soaps for $10. So look out for that if you're uh, traveling or planning on visiting the Bath & Body Works store soon. One thing I would say with these is that I didn't realize that these have the 
micro beads in them which if they're plastic they're not good for the environment so I'm gonna have to check that out so these ones I might not recommend but they definitely have the foaming version there and I've used that before and really really like it and I would definitely recommend these scents the really sweet sugary girly scent um, in pink chiffon and then the peach bellini is like a true kind of peachy citrusy fresh scent really really like the Bath and Body Works products but um, just I'm gonna have to do some research on on these about the um, the micro beads and then lastly I picked up a couple of the candles now the three wick candles the recommended retail price of these is $44 which is quite a bit of a markup it's, it's really pricey which kind of disappoints me a little bit but it was also to be expected there was about six candle scents there um, eucalyptus mint there was also like a lavender vanilla like sea island cotton or something like that that smelled a little bit like um, like fresh laundry kind of scent. There was the Japanese cherry blossom, the mahogany teak wood, which is the one that I picked up. This one smells a lot like men's cologne. It's a really, really nice scent. And then the sixth scent was sweet pea, which is the other one that I picked up. This one is just like a really fresh sweet pea scent. It smells a lot like the um, sweet pea body products that they have there, which I'd used before, which is so that's why why I was excited to see that in a candle and I've already started burning it because you know what I just couldn't help myself um, but I do believe they're having a special on the candles as well coming up where they're doing two for $58 which sounds like a lot but I believe that works out to be $29 each which given the conversion rate at the moment and what we can kind of get the Bath & Body Works candles for here in Australia on eBay which is where I usually buy them $29 is actually a pretty good deal. I was doing a bit of research looking at some of the Christmas candles because I really wanted to pick them up and I wasn't sure whether the Bath & Body Works here would be getting them. And a lot of the Australian sellers were selling them from around $28, $29 plus shipping which is usually around $12. So um, even if they combine shipping, you're still looking at paying 30 something dollars for the candles. So if you can get there and get the $258, then it's it's quite a good deal for here in Australia. I just hopefully that they'll get some more. I met a lovely subscriber who was working in the store. We were chatting on Snapchat and I went to, to visit her and check out the store and she let me know that she thinks that they'll be getting in Christmas candles sometime soon. So I asked her if, she, if they do get them in if she could let me know because I'll definitely go back and pick them up and if I find out any more information at all I will certainly be the first to share that with you guys. Make sure you follow me on my social media on Facebook Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, because that's where I kind of share that kind of information. Um, and if I do end up getting more stuff or going back, getting some Christmas range, I will certainly do another haul for you guys. But I wanted to at least let you guys know that it's there and that you can actually visit the store even if you're not traveling. Um, for those Sydney siders who were super curious like myself and wanted to check it out. Like I said, check the description box for any extra information that I have. I will, I will write it all out and include the prices and the specials that um, I know are happening. I did actually put my email address down while I was in store, so um, that was supposed to be to, to get um, deep like information about specials or things that come into the store so if I, again if I get that information I'll certainly share it with you guys but yeah I think that's pretty much it for this video as far as I'm aware there will be more Bath & Body Works stores opening up the one at the airport is licensed to a particular company that does airport retail specifically whereas I think the other stores that open up in other parts of the country and in, in other parts of Sydney will be a different licensee and them as far as I'm aware people that run the Singapore store and the Indonesian stores that company has the license for Australia don't quote me on that because um, it's only based on information I'm just I'm just kind of speculating based on things that I've heard but hopefully that is the case and that they'll be opening up stores soon that are a little bit easier to get to and that will have a wider range of products and yeah I'm just really excited I hope this video has been helpful for some of you Bath and Body Works fans out there and I'll talk to you guys all next time Bye.